I'm asking you, this book, if I read from this book, do you think this is Rasulullah Rasul saying it? If I read the ayahs, who said it? Rasul Muhammad Rasulullah said, this is what he says, if you consider or ponder on the kaul, meaning what Rasul said, if there is a saying of the hadith and if there is a saying of the ayat, both are saying, of, they both are saying, this is said by messenger, this is said by messenger. So Allah said, Afalam yaddabbarul qawl, qawl rasul. If you ponder on that, then you will recognize the messenger. It is coming from the, alam ya'rifu rasulahum. You will recognize the messenger. Because messenger said this. Kalam of Allah, the word of Allah, the book of Allah, this is a revelation from Allah, wahi from Allah, inspiration from Allah, said by messenger. The moment you hear the words of Allah, is a saying of the messenger. And you cannot make differentiation, you cannot make a difference. So the moment you tadabbur or ponder or consider the saying, you recognize the messenger. This is messenger saying. But if somebody is showing you some other saying and say this Rasulullah said, because the, the proof is that it has to be the revelation from Allah. A revelation from Allah is a saying of the messenger. Tanzilum min Rabbil Alameen is innahu la qawlu Rasulul Kareem. Whatever Rasul said is the Revelation from Allah. That is the proof. So if somebody says, this is the messenger saying, that somebody else books, if you read that book, and if you think this is Rasul, Rasulullah said, is a revelation from Allah? So it is not Rasul saying. Simple logic. And that is why on the day, on the day of judgment, Al-Furqan 24, 30 verse, 25 Surah Al-Furqan and Ayah 30. Rasul said, وَقَالَ رَسُولُ يَا رَبِّ إِنَّ قَوْمِ اتَّخَذُوا هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ مَحْجُورَ And the messenger will say, Oh my Lord, surely my people took this Qur'an, the reading, abandoning it. This Qur'an, Rasul is saying on the day of judgment, this ayah. In the context in Surah Furqan 25-30, if you look at the context in that, in that, in that uh, ayah, Furqan 24, 29, 28, 27, 26, the day of judgment established and on that day the messenger is saying my people took this Quran and abandoned it how? because they are not recognizing this as Qawla Rasul they are not taking this as Qawla Rasul they are not saying this is the saying of the messenger they are not believing this they are not believing this is the saying of the messenger this is Qawla Rasul -e Kareem this is the saying of the honorable messenger if you believe and then you believe that's why he says وَقَالَ رَسُولُ And the messenger say, Ya Rabbi, O my Lord, إِنَّ قَوْمِ اتَّخَذُوا هَذَا الْقُرَانَ مَحَجُورًا Surely my people took this Qur'an and abandoning it. Because they are thinking that is called Rasul. They are not thinking this is called Rasul. Qur'an is called Rasul. They are not thinking this is called Rasul. Karim. This is not the messenger saying. They are not saying this is the messenger saying. That is the messenger saying. So you are abandoning the Qur'an. This is why Rasul said it. You are not recognizing the messenger. Do they not recognize the messenger? Messenger saying is this. Messenger whole. Who will deny that Muhammad Rasulullah did not say this Quran? Any person in the world can deny this? That this whole Quran was said by messenger? So I am not saying something new. He said it. Surah Al Imran 3164. <laughs> min يَتْلُوا عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِهِ وَيُزَكِّيهِمْ وَيُعَلِّمُهُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةِ وَإِنْ كَانُوا مِنْ قَبْلُ لَفِي ظَلَالِ مُبِينَ Without doubt, Allah is favored over the believers when He pointed in them a messenger from their soul's psyche selves. He recites over them His ayah signs and He justifies them and He gives the knowledge of Al-Kitab, the book and the wisdom. And if they were believers from before, then definitely they were in clear astray. Now, in this ayah, if you know, that Allah says that without doubt, Allah has favored over the believers. When He appointed in them a messenger from their souls or cells or psyche. In Arabic, you know, it says, Lakad Allah. Without doubt, Allah has favored. Lakad Allah. Alal mu'mineen, over the believers. Id ba'atha fihim. When he appoints in them Rasulam min anfusihim a messenger from their anfus from their anfus souls 
Anfus is referred as psyches or uh, plural, their psyches, their souls and themselves. So the, a message, Rasula min anfusim, this is very important, Rasul min anfusim, a messenger from their souls, a messenger from their psyches, a messenger from their selves. A point, a messenger from the selves of the mankind, from the psyches of the mankind or from the souls of the mankind. This Allah is appointing and without doubt Allah is favored over the believers when He appoint in them a messenger from their soul psyches and from their souls and psyche. How and this will happen? My gentle ladies and gentlemen, these new people who have come here, I hope you people are falling, though it is new. But according to eyes, they are not new in innovations. They are all the same. But for you it may be new, but think. We have just now discussed. How will you recognize the messenger in the ayahs? How will you recognize the messenger? How? We just now read few behind an ayah. How will you recognize? Come on, anybody. How will you recognize the messenger? By the? By the ayahs. And ayahs are said by the messenger. So if an ayat is understood by any one of us and remembered and implemented and when you recite the ayat that is call a rasul. Is that not? So that rasul is not my call. It's not my saying. The moment if I say وَقَالَ الرَّسُولُ Ya Rabbi, inna qawmi takhadu hadal Qur'ana mahjura. This ayah you heard from where? From me. It has come from my psyche. It has come from my soul. It has come from my nafs. Of course it is written in this book. But once if I have understood, I have conceived it, it has come from my psyche. وَقَالَ الرَّسُولُ Ya Rabbi, O oh my Lord, inna qawmi takhadu hadal Qur'ana mahjura. Surely my people took this Quran for, full, uh, for uh, uh, abandoning it. This saying is of messenger. Right? So is it my words? So this is not Muhammad Sheikh talking. This is Rasul saying. I am a Bashar, a man. But the moment I recite the ayahs, that is Qali Rasul. We have, we have recognized this. In Nahu la Qawlu Rasulin Karim. All the kitab, all the book is said by the messenger. So the moment the ayat is recited, the, the Rasul is the, uh, the Rasul, it is the recognition of the Rasul. You know it is not him, it is Allah's book and Rasul said it. And we always discuss, when you show an ayat to somebody, you say, I am not saying it, he is saying it. He says, I am not saying it, it is in the book. Or it is, it is in the book, it is in the Quran. He says this way, don't, they, don't we? So we are saying, same thing, it is Allah's kalam, Allah's word, said by the messenger. Not he, Muhammad Sheikh. Anybody. Anybody who recites the ayahs, the ayat comes from his psyche. That is what Allah says. Lakad man Allah alal mu'minina id ba'ata fihim rasulam min anfusihim. Without doubt, Allah has favored over the believers when he appoints in them a rasul, a messenger, min anfusihim from their psyche or souls or nafs. What is it? Yatlu alayhim ayati. He recites over them his ayas, Allah's ayas. Wa yuzakkihim and justify them. Wa yu'allimhum al kitab. And he gives the knowledge of the book. Wal hikmat and the wisdom. Wa in kanu min qabl. Lafi dalalim mubin. And if they, they were from before, then definitely they were in clear astraying. People before these believers were clear astraying until and unless a messenger. Is, appoint, uh, is appointed from their souls. If I do not know and remember any ayat, how can I follow the messenger? I, that is why in the salah, we have to memorize the ayat and recite in front of Allah. That is Qawli rasul Kareem. That is the saying of the messenger. So whenever the ayat is being re rehearsed in the, in the salah, it's the word of Allah, it's the book of Allah, it's the inspiration from Allah, is the revelation from Allah said by the messenger. We all mankind are following the messenger. 
then we follow Allah. Now in Surah Al Fatah 48, Ayah 29, Muhammad Rasulullah wa Ladina ma wa shidda wa al kuffar, Ruhuma ubainahum, Tarahum rukka an sujjadan yabtaguna fadlam min Allahi wa ridwana, Seemahum fi wujuhihim min athri sujud, Thalika mathalum fit Tawrah, Wa mathalum fil injil, Kazarin akhraja shat'ah, Fa azarahu fastaglada, Fastaglada fastawa. على سوقه يعجب الزرع ليغيظ بهم الكفار وعد الله الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات منهم مغفرة وأجرا عظيما محمد is the messenger of Allah and those who are with him are more stronger over the rejecters and are merciful between them you will see them bowing prostrating seeking the bounty and good pleasures from Allah they have marks, recognitions from the effects of prostrations in their faces, personalities. That is their example in a Tawrah, the law. Uh, that is the hukum, the government of Allah containing all the governing ayah signs and their example is al Injil, the good news. That is the confirmation of Tawrah, the law and the Mozam sermon. It's like sowing a seed. Its shoots come out, then it strengthens, then it becomes thick, then it becomes straight over its stalk. The sowers are amazed for what he makes the rejectors furious with them. Allah has promised from them those who believe and do corrections is forgiveness and a mighty wage. Now in this ayah, there are two, three, four points. The Tawrat Injil expert, I will not discuss because the lecture is different what the Quran says about Tawrat Injil. But the question is, Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Muhammad is Muhammad Rasulullah. Walladina ma'u ashiddaul kuffar. Now the personality of Muhammad Rasulullah and who are with him. What are what are the personality behavior of Muhammad Rasulullah and his people who are with him? Muhammad is a messenger of Allah, and those who are with him are more stronger over the rejectors and are merciful between them. Rahmau Bainam. In all times, that is the status of Muhammad Rasulullah with his companions. What is Muhammad Rasulullah? They are strong over the rejectors and Rahmau Bainahum. They are merciful amongst each other or between them. So when you believe and you read that history, you are still fighting amongst each other. You are not followers of Muhammad Rasulullah. You're lying to yourself because you've been reading such things and continuously you're fighting and killing each other till today. Still today you're doing the same thing. If you are followers of Muhammad Rasulullah, the, the example or the personality behavior of Muhammad Rasulullah is that he is compassionate, merciful between the believers and he is strong over the rejectors. Though those people who reject the ayahs of Allah, he is Muhammad Rasulullah and his companions or the uh, followers are strong against the rejectors and merciful amongst the believers. And look for this Taraham Rukka and Sujadain Yap Taguna Fadla min Allah Ridwana. You will see them bowing, prostrating, seeking the bounty and good pleasures from Allah. What bowing? What what prostrating? One is the bowing, you see in the in the salah, you see you bow, you see bow. And you see the prostration, people prostrate, don't you? But do you bow in your psychology, psychology in the eyes of for, in, for, uh, for the eyes of Allah or I, eyes of Allah? You see, the ayah says that they are. You will see them bowing, prostrating, seeking the bounty and the good pleasures of Allah. If you know that Allah is Razi on these ayahs, what I do and implement. If you are seeking that, you are bowing to that you are prostrating on that then you are seeking bounty from Allah and razi, ra, Allah's razi, razi of Allah because he says uh, the, the prostrate seeking the bounty and good pleasures of Allah you, are, you, are, you, you want to bow to Allah's ayahs the essence of the message of Allah or you are prostrating on Allah's ayat and the essence of Allah and you want his good pleasure you don't want to annoy him if you really truly doing so then you are one of them 
then Allah says they have marks recognition from the effects of the prostration in their in their faces and personalities that is the effect if you are fearful of Allah if you are fearful for your account on the day of judgment and you want Allah's uh, good treasures then you you'll, you'll have that face the people can recognize you. You will have marks of your prostration. This, this behavior, because you are seeking Allah's bounty, Allah's bounty and Allah's good pleasure is by submitting to the ayahs and the essence. So there is a face, you know, face is conscious of the, uh, of the ayahs. You know, you can understand when a person is in love, you can see his face. You know, if a person is loving somebody, girl, or girl is in love with guy, and when the, uh, somebody is out angry, somebody is annoyed, somebody is happy, somebody is jealous, you can't see the faces? Can't you people see the faces? Or can't you? Don't you? Can you see those faces? So when a person is more conscious of making Allah to please Allah, his face is different. That is their example in the Torah. First of all, look this. I say, Dalika, Dalika, Mathalom fit Torah. Wa Mathalom fil Injil. This is, that is the example, this personality behavior of Muhammad Rasulullah and his companion's example is the example in where? In the Torah, the law. In the Injil, the good news. Torah and Injil has come with Muhammad Rasulullah and his companion. Do you know this? The whole Quran teaches about Torah and Injil. The word Torah and Injil has come with Muhammad Rasulullah and his companion and example is in, in the personality of Torah. Do you know Torah? These guys know Torah? I'm asking you, believe me. Okay, after the lecture you can discuss. The people do not know Torah and Allah is describing their personality is in that Torah and the Injil. Look, Dalika Mathalam of Torah wa Mathalam fil Injil. Whose who's example? The Muhammad Rasulullah and his companion's example. So what I is not this mar, it is the personality behavior that is example is in the Torah, the law and the Injil, the good news. And if you refer that this is the Bible, which, which you say it is mentioned in, the, in this Bible, Muhammad and his companions and example is mentioned in the Bible. If you refer this as Torah, Injil. If you people refer this Torah, Injil, Gospel according to Mark, Matthew, Luke and John and they say Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, the Numbers and Deuteronomy, Old Testament, the New Testament. If you refer to this, you can never find Muhammad Rasulullah and his example in this book at all. There are 3000 versions of the Bible. You will not find this example. Thalika mathalam al-Tawrat wa mathalam fil Injil. The example of Muhammad Rasulullah and his companions in the Old Testament and the New Testament of the Bible at all. No, you will not find. This behavior you will see them because because they are like this. You will because how why they are like this? Because you will see them bowing, prostrating, seeking the bounty and the good pleasures from Allah. They have marks of recognition from the effects of prostration in their faces and personalities. Here is not referring to physical face. Here is referring to the face of the personality by behavior. That is their example in the Torah, the law. Torah. <laughs> and their example in the Injil. So how can you, and, and nobody, have you ever heard that Quran, in the Quran, that Taurat and Injil words has occurred with Muhammad Rasulullah and his, and his, his companions, anybody in the, in the room, in the hall? Never. He's, Allah is giving you this thing, but you don't, you people don't read this. Are you reading it or not reading it? That is the example this behavior this their, this their example is in the Torah the law in the Injil the good news and it is how it's explained it's like sowing of a seed a shoot comes out then it strengthens then it becomes thick then it becomes straight over a stalk the sowers are amazed for he makes the rejectors furious with them Allah has promised from them those who believe and do corrections is forgiveness and a mighty wage. This example is also explained how this example is. This example of, of the Taurat Injil is uh, defined further is like sowing a seed. This small seed, you know, small seed is sown in the ground. 
Then a little it shoots comes out, little small little shoots comes out. And then it strengthens and it becomes thick and it becomes straight over a stalk. Big huge this is the tana. Huh? This big tree. The sowers are amazed. For what Allah makes the rejectors furious with them and Allah is promised from them. Those who believe and do correction is forgiveness in the mind. Now what is this example? This example is that these believers they are compassionate, loving each other and they are strong against the unbelievers or rejectors. They, they, their example in the Torah and Injil is like that that a seed is put in like if I start or you people start, we people start following the message of Allah is like a seed thrown into the ground and then a little stock comes, little belief comes in ourselves we start believing it and we start believing to an extent that we become like a big tree Shadda Tayyib has not mentioned here uh, it is like a shoot comes out like a, like a big uh, thick becomes a straight over the stock it stands big huge thing the behavior of the believers the behavior of the believers is described like, like, like this against the non-believers and they are strong against the rejectors and compassionate or merciful among each other this is their behavior this is their recognition and the marks on their faces this is the character that they are they're implying and that is the example in the Torah and Injil the law and the, and the good news that is the example so in the Quran Muhammad Rasulullah and his companions name and their example is in the Torah the law and Injil the good news so if anybody wants to know what is the Torah and Injil you have to watch this a separate lecture what the Quran says about Torah and Injil because their behavior is mentioned in the Torah and Injil not what the Bible is I am not referring to the Bible the Torah and Injil so you have to see different lecture. There's a whole lecture. So I end this last two ayahs. I recite Al-Baqarah 2, 136 and 137. Al-Baqarah <laughs> وَإِن تَوَلَّوْا فَإِنَّمَا هُمْ فِي شِقَاقٍ فَسَيَكْفِيكَهُمُ اللَّهُ وَهُوَ السَّمِيلُ عَلِيمُ They said They said we believe with Allah and what is revealed towards us and what is revealed towards Ibrahim that is Abraham, Ismail, Ismail, Ishaq, Isaac and Yaqub, Jacob and the tribes and what was given to Musa, Moses and Isa and Jesus and what was given to the prof prophets was from the Lord. We do not make difference, we do not differentiate in the revelation between anyone from them. We are Muslimun submitters for him. So فَإِنْ آمَنُوا بِمِثْلِ مَا أَنْتُمْ بِهِ فَقَدْهِ تَدَوْ وَإِنْ تَوَلَّوْ فَإِنَّ مَا هُمْ فِي شِقَاقْ فَسَيَكْفِيكَمُ اللَّهُ وَهُسْمِ الْعَلِيمُ so if they believe with the example to what you believe with it so without doubt they are on guidance if they turn back then surely they will be in the shikaq disunity so soon Allah is enough for them and he is all hearing all knowing well I am coming to the end of this lecture I have put this ayat two ayats of what what we have to say because Allah says they say we believe in Allah who are saying it in the end is in the end is and we are submitters Muslims to Allah they said we believe with Allah and what is revealed toward us towards us what is revealed toward us what they say we believe in Allah and what is revealed toward us this just now you are hearing this is a revelation to you and what is revealed towards Ibrahim we believe that also what was revealed towards Ibrahim and Ismail and Ishaq and Yaqub and the tribe whatever the revelation was given to them we believe them that and what was given to Musa and Isa and what was given to prophets that means all prophets we believe all of it from, it was from the Lord we do not differentiate in the revelation 
between any one of them. We are Muslimun submitters for him. We are Muslimun submitters for him. This is we have to. We, this is a, an article of belief. You see, belief. What is iman? So we have to say. They said we believe in Allah with Allah. That is the article of belief. We believe in Allah. Ulu amanna billah. Say that we believe with Allah. Amanna billah. We believe with Allah. First of all, we have to believe with Allah. Allah what? Who? <laughs> what Allah? So there is another lecture. What Quran says about Allah? Another lecture. What Allah? You know, so everybody knows God. But what is exactly Allah with above hundred attributes? How is He acting upon the attributes? You have to know that. So what Allah is? Okay, we believe with Allah. Then we say we believe. What is revealed towards us, the essence, the message that has come to us, we believe in that. Oh, towards that, wama unzila ila Ibrahim, and what is revealed towards Ibrahim, we believe that. And what was what was uh, revealed to Ismail and Isaac, wa Yaqub. What was revealed to Ibrahim, Ismail, Isaac, and Yaqub? Can anybody tell us? Huh? The book. We read that. Eighteen prophets. You forgot Ibrahim, Ismail, Yaqub, Sulaiman, Daud. 18, 19 prophets the ulaika alladheena ataynamul kitab wal hukum wal nabuwa we gave them all all of them 19 prophets the book and the hikmat and the hukum and the nabuwa and ulaika alladheena ataynamul kitab wal hukum wal nabuwa i read that i you know this so we believe all that that they got the book the book one book ila ibn wal asbat and the tribes wa ma utiya musa wa isa and what was given to musa isa we also believe that and what was given to all the prophets was from their Lord and we do not make any difference in the revelation between any one of them we are Muslimun نَحْنُ لَهُ Muslimun وَنَحْنُ لَهُ Muslimun we are submitters Muslims for him because he said all this to say for Allah we are Muslims to Allah. We are not Muslim to each other. Because when you say we believe we are Muslim to Shia or Sunni or Qadiani or Parvezi or Bhai, we are Muslims to that, submitters to them. We have to be Muslims for Allah. We are Muslims when Nahnu Lahu Muslimun. We are submitters, Muslims for Him. And further it says, Fa in Amanu bi mitli ma amantum bi faqadihtadaw. So, if they believe with the example to what you believe with it, and our belief is what is defined above, if they believe, if they, the people believe, فَإِنْ آمُنُوا بِمِثْلِ آمَنْتُمْ بِي So, if they believe with what, the example of what you believe, then they are on guidance, فَقَدِي تَدَوْ They are on guidance. وَإِنْ تَوَلَّوْ And if they turn, turn back, فَإِنَّمَا هُمْ فِي شِقَاق Surely they are in shiqaq disunity. Allah, so soon Allah is enough for them. Wa was Samir Alim and Allah is hear, all hearing and all knowing. So in this end of this, the end of this ayah is describing that we believe that one book was given to all prophets. And Muhammad وسلم, is the messenger and the seal of the prophets. All the prophets were given the book and the hukum. And Muhammad Messenger came and confirmed what was given to them. And that was the uh, covenant of Allah with the prophets. That when, when what have we have given you from the book and the wisdom, a messenger will come confirming what is with you. And that was the covenant between Allah and the prophets. You will help him, the messenger, and you will agree. And you will take up my Lord for the, for the prophets. This is how he became the seal of the prophets. Muhammad Rasulullah is the seal of the prophets. So the revelation was the same. The inspiration was the same. Everything was the same. And then we came to know how we follow Rasul. Because there are ayahs in the Quran. The Allah said this is Qawla rasul Kareem. This is the saying of the messenger. So whatever Quran, the whole Quran is the saying of the messenger. Any ayah that is being said is we are following the Rasul. We are following the Rasul. It is not my words. It is Allah's words. It is not my saying. It is Rasul saying. Messenger saying. So when we follow the ayat, 
we follow the messenger so what I am saying is we have come to know what is the Qul Rasul Karim Quran is the book of Allah and this book of Allah was revealed to Muhammad Rasulullah and this book was revealed before also and they were all prophets and the messenger Muhammad Rasulullah is the seal of the prophets and in the beginning that I read La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah wa khatam al nabiyyin there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah and the seal of the prophets as mentioned the book there are 19 names of the prophets and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah Rasulullah and we all in our namaz salah we say ashhadu allah ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammad abdu rasul in a tahab we say ashhadu allah ilaha illallah in salah in in, in in azan we say ashhadu anna muhammad rasulullah ashhadu anna muhammad rasulullah muhammad is rasulullah muhammad rasulullah muhammad all your life you are hearing it don't you so muhammad is the messenger of allah and the seal of the prophets you can come and ask questions any questions from ladies and gents later on we'll start this